Danny, Harry, Tom, Dougie. Nice to Hello. see you all. It's been a minute. It's I been a minute. It has been a minute. I can't believe it's been seven years since the McFly single and you've graced us with happiness. How has it flown so quick? No, no one knows. <laughs> no <laughs> thought Harry was going to take it. Harry looked like he was keen to answer a question. So this is the problem with Zoom: is that you've got to kind of wait an awkward second before anybody talks, and then suddenly, okay, go, and then you all go at the same time. <laughs> so how? What are you asking? Why it's taken so long? No, no, but do you feel like time has just gone so quick? Because when I saw it was seven years since the last record, I was like, what, really? Yeah, it's gone fast because when we released that song, Love Is On The Radio, we then, uh, we had these four shows at the Royal Albert Hall to mark our 10 year anniversary. And that's when Matt and James from Busted came and played with us. And that was the start of Mook Busted, which took us on a tangent for like two or three years. Um, and so, yeah, like that part of, you know, the chunk of time went really quickly, but yeah, the other three years went pretty slowly, to be honest. <laughs> um, <laughs> But we've all been really busy. When I heard you were dropping a new record, I was like, yes, this is what we need right now. And you hit us with an absolute feel-good smash called Happiness. What was the vibe when you were recording that record and how long ago did you record it? So we started recording it, writing and recording it in January. Um, so we, um, uh, yeah, we spent pretty much the, the first two months of the year just locked away in the studio together. And, um, you, know, not, you know, we were kind of lucky because we, uh, we managed to get most of the recording done before, uh, before lockdown happened. Um, but it was, um, yeah, and we hadn't been in the studio for, for quite a few years. So we were all, it was, uh, it was an exciting day getting in the studio with these guys again. And what's studio life like when McFly all get together? Is it just mental chaos? Uh, I mean... Steamy. <laughs> yeah. So what was it like kind of working on an album pre-lockdown going into lockdown and kind of having that there but not able to kind of go back and do anything else with it luckily we had most of it done we got into the studio in january and february and we literally it was i think it's one of the best times in the studio that we've ever had who would have known who would have known the future is now kind of working from home and doing stuff via zoom it's nice and easy yeah, yeah. i mean it's changed hasn't it no i prefer the, I prefer the old way. Uh, I know what you, you mean. You I would. like being with people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like not... people. I'm, I'm, good. I'm good this way. And there's quite a lot of people don't like people. So it's working. Um, now no, I don't people... like most people. I like these people. <laughs> only. These yeah. people only. Um, yeah. Most of you have kids. Tom, I know yours are well on their way to be in the next McFly in like 10 years time. Um, did any of them make any cameos on the new album? No, 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 I think we missed the trick there. I feel like we should have at least had a few songs. I think the album probably sell better if we had the kids on it. Over lockdown, actually, you guys dropped one of the best Zoom collabs I've probably ever seen. James Arthur, Oli Mers, Noel Horan. What an absolute package. Um, who came up with that amazing genius idea to do a take on Shine a Light? I thought it was absolutely brilliant. Oh, not naming any names, but DJ comes to mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you know what? It was that, that all came about because of the NHS one that we did. Um, and that went down so well. And, you know, we needed to provide some sort of entertainment. And that was our way of entertaining people. And what better way to that? get a couple of these showbiz friends involved. <laughs> <laughs> I lo I'm loving this interview. Danny's making himself laugh a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. hey. He's got Narl and, and James Arthur and, and uh, Ollie Mers and Speed Dog, isn't it? Of course he has. They're having Zoom they're, parties of their own. They're the only people in his phone book. He's only got us and them, that's it. So. <laughs> yeah. That's not a bad phone book that's to it. have, to be honest. <laughs> Um, now, has that opened the door to maybe working with them on new music for future plans, collabs? Well, it actually firmly sh shut the door after they'd experienced <laughs> working with, uh, with, with us. They firmly shut it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, in, in, all, in all seriousness, um, they, um, they, were up, they were up for doing it. I was like, lads, we were recording albums to him. I've just totally forgot to invite them on the album. <laughs> 
Again, laughing at my own joke. <laughs> 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 now you formed back in 2003 18 years later and you were still going strong what is the secret to your longevity in this business laugh at, laugh at your own jokes <laughs> i mean we are literally just as immature as uh we were when we were 17 but i think it's because it's a lot of fun now obviously busted was such a huge success Bigger than any of you could have ever imagined. Is the door closed on that project or do you reckon in years to come you might do something else? I'd say uh, it's sort of, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a bit of light creaking through the door maybe. It's left on the latch. Wait, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like that. Now the Vamps recently released new music and I know you guys have been on tour with them way back when and it got me thinking maybe you could do another super group and call yourself McVamp and do another massive tour. Oh, that's not That'd be good. Then their new song is decent. I like it. That Mario so Vegas. Um, yeah, it's very good. good. I like um, it. Do you know what? Why not? McVamps it is then. Have you started making plans for your 20th anniversary? Because it's two years away and we all know time just goes so quick. Well, uh, not yet. But I think we're just really keen to get out and tour again. Uh, we yeah. want to tour Young Dumb Thrills album, get that album out. And then once that kind of cycle is done, then yeah, I mean, we haven't even discussed the fact that it's 20 years. Uh, it's, it's, a bit, it's crazy that really, but um, who knows? It'll, be, it'll definitely be something to celebrate. I don't mind having this.